All right, guys, so this senti monster theory has gotten out of control once again. Anything involving a snap of a finger or a twist of a ring is now an indicator of a senti monster. So by that logic, based off of the episode Gabriel Aggressed, Felix is now a senti monster. Congratulations, Adrian, you have a brother. Now, as you can tell, I absolutely hate this theory because I just don't like it. But regardless, let's go ahead and take a look at the merits of this, shall we? Because I will admit, the senti monster theory does make a lot of sense, I just absolutely despise it to its core. So let's talk about if it's even possible for Felix to be a senti monster, okay? I think that's the first most important thing. Now the answer to this is maybe, and that all depends on how the power is situated. Now assuming that Felix was created as a senti monster from the rings again, and Felix stole and has possession of one of those said rings, that would mean that he, in essence, has control over himself. He has free will. Except that creates a weird situation because Gabriel has the other half of that, in which case, where does that come into play? Because if you have two people commanding one object, where does the power lie, right? Like, which, which commander does that object follow? Now, in my own personal opinion, I would feel like Gabriel would have more command over that object, aka being Felix. One, because he's older, stronger, and just, you know, he's the wielder of the Peacock Miraculous. And two, because Felix is the new holder. He didn't have it for as long as Gabriel did. Now, the whole premise of the episode is to bring Felix back to Gabriel's house to get him to give back his ring. Now, if Gabriel supposedly had 50% control of Felix, wouldn't he be able to just tell Felix like, hey, I'm your master, give me back my ring because the senti monster has to obey the holder or the owner. But again, it all depends on where that power struggle lies, right? Who has more power, Felix or Gabriel? And this is all assuming that the senti monster theory is correct and it is both the rings. Now, here's another quick pet peeve that always annoyed me about the senti monster theory. This whole theory came about because Gabriel started twisting his ring when telling Adrian to do something. Gabriel did not need to twist his ring in order to get Adrian to do the thing, right? He has possession over the ring, which means Adrian has to obey him. So unless they just added that in there to be like, hey, fans, hint, hint, wink, wink, he's a senti monster. So unless they did that, then the twisting of the ring meant nothing. Now, I am inclined to think that it is a hint to the fandom, so that way we can theorize. But wouldn't it just be so funny if Thomas just walked into like a storyboard meeting and was like, hey, guys, whenever Gabriel tells Adrian to do something, just make him twist his ring. That'll get the fandom going crazy. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Like, like, what if that's what happened, right? And we're just all being played because he just twists his ring and he does a snap. Like, oh my gosh, guys, this, like... It doesn't, it doesn't actually mean anything. Unless if it does, because we're all stupid fans of the show, so they need to give us hints like that. Now, I may be against the Sinti Monster theory, but I have never said that the evidence does not pile up against my position on the theory. And while we did have a Thomas tweet thread a little while ago that sort of like made it look like the theory was disproven, he made some errors in those tweets. Thank you, Thomas. And now those are no longer accurate. So that just means that the Sandy Monster Theory gained more validity on that. And speaking of which, let me just point this out here, right? Supposedly, the Peacock Miraculous holder can feel out where the Amok is, right? If the Amok was in one of the rings that Felix happened to steal, why couldn't he just, you know, use that power? Why couldn't he just feel where Felix was hiding the ring? So there's a little food for thought for you, and I do know that Shadow Moth is not the brightest bulb out there, but, you know, it is something that you would think if he's super desperate for the ring, why not do that? Now, the biggest problem that I have with the Felix and Team Monster Theory sort of getting back on track here is the fact that Felix is not the son of Gabriel. Why the heck would Gabriel and Emily create a senti monster that they weren't going to, you know, pretend was their child, right? Why did they ship Felix off and go with Amelie, right? Because that would mean that Amelie knows about the Miraculous and she most definitely does not. And unless they did some sort of hypnosis or memorization wipe on Amelie, then she would probably remember giving birth to Felix, right? 
Otherwise, she'd be like, hmm, how'd Felix get here? I don't remember giving birth to anyone. So that's the biggest issue that I have here. And as far as I'm aware, the peacock and butterfly miraculous cannot change the memories of people. So that would be my reason for saying that Felix is not a senti monster. But what do I know? I'm just a stupid guy on the internet, aren't I? So, you know, have fun with your senti monster theories.